Hello students, let us start with chapter 5, Origin and Evolution of Life. I know most of the portion from this chapter has been deleted for board exams 2020. But I suggest study the thorough ch chapter thoroughly and then you prepare only the part which is allotted for the board exams. This will help you in clearing your concepts. So let us first start with the introduction. Man is inquisitive in nature. He has always tried to explore ki how did life originate on the earth. It has been an enigma for all intellectuals for all the time. Earth has been presumed to be originated 4.6 billion years ago. Origin of life on earth is also called as protobiogenesis. Proto first bio life genesis formation. So that is the formation of life first life on the earth is termed as protobiogenesis. There are a number of theories of origin of life. The first theory is called as theory of special creation. It is the oldest theory and it is based on religious beliefs without any scientific proofs. It states that all the living organisms are created by supernatural power, the God. It believes in the divine creation of God. It was for the first time proposed and supported, strongly supported by Spanish monk Father Suarez. Not only the Spanish monk, but there were many other religious beliefs about the origin of life on earth. As in Hinduism, it is believed that the life was formed or light was originated or created by the divine power Brahma. There are other stories also which are supporting this theory. Next theory is Cosmozoic theory. It is also called as theory of Panspermia. It was proposed by Richter in 1865 and it was supported by Arrhenius. It states that life came on the earth from some other planet in the form of seeds or spores and these seeds or spores were called as panspermia. So this panspermia are nothing but the seeds or the spores which came from other uh, planets or meteor in the form of meteorites. But it could not explain the mechanism by which panspermia survived that was condition that is very low temperature, lack of atmosphere, utter dryness, lethal and UV cosmic radiations of the interplanetary space during its migration. So this is cosmozoic theory. Recently, NASA has supported that fossils of bacteria like organisms on a piece of Martian rock was recovered from Antarctica. Let us see the next theory which is called as theory of spontaneous generation. This theory of spontaneous generation, it is also called as theory of abiogenesis. According to this theory, life originated from non-living material, material spontaneously, suddenly. Aristotle proposed that worms, insects, fish, frogs, even mice develop from the filth in the soil, that is the dirt in the soil. This theory was disapproved by Louis Pasteur. Let us see the next theory, theory of biogenesis. It states that life arises from pre-existing life only. It was supported by Francisco Reddy and Louis Pasteur. Let us see about the first experiment that is called as Reddy's, ex Reddy's experiment. Francisco Reddy, he was an Italian physician. He took the flesh or meat we can say and cooked it so that no organisms were left alive. He placed the flesh in three jars. Okay. He sealed these jars. One he sealed with a parchment paper and the second with a muslin cloth. In the picture you can see that different methods are used. A muslin cloth and a cork is used. And the third jar he left open. He saw that the meat decayed in all the three jars and flies were attracted towards all the three jars. You can see flies on all the three jars. But maggots developed only in uncovered jars. As flies, they could lay eggs in it and it later developed into larvae. This confirms that maggots arise from eggs not from the decaying of the meat but from the pre-existing flies. Thus, it supports the theory of biogenesis. That is, life existing from or arising from the pre-existing life only. Omnis vivum ex vivo. 
Pasteur's experiment which also supported theory of biogenesis. Louis Pasteur showed that minute organisms like protist and bacteria arise from pre-existing organisms. He prepared broth by eating yeast, yeast and sugar. By heating a flask, he gave a shape to its neck. First experiment you can see, he heated the flask by having a S shaped neck. Broth in the flask is boiled to kill the pre-existing microorganism. Thus, it is creating a sterile environment. The control result shows that as the broth is cooling down, condensing occurred. The condensed water collected in the neck, the bent tube, sealing the mouth of the flask. And no growth of bacteria or any the type of living organism occurred in the broth. But in the experiment result, when he cut off, the neck is broken. The outside air can carry microorganisms into the broth. And it was found that the broth was found to be contaminated with microorganisms. What was the conclusion? Cells can only arise from pre-existing cells. Thus, both Reddy, Francisco Reddy and Louis Pasteur supported the theory of biogenesis. Thank you. In next video, we'll study about chemical evolution.